Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in the previous video, we learned about the two variable and the three variable K map. So in this video, we will learn about the four variable K map. And we will see that how to minimize the four variable boolean function using the K map. So first of all, let us see the construction of this four variable K map. Let's say these ABCD are the four variables of this function where this A is the MSB and the D is the LSB. So this is one of the way to construct the four variable K map. So here the binary number beside each row represents the possible values of the variable A and B. While the binary numbers at the top of each column represents the possible values of the variable C and D. Now for the four variables, there are total 16 possibilities or in other words, for the four variables, there are total 16 min terms, right? So the each cell of the K map represents the specific combination of the variable A, B, C and D. Now we know that the each combination of the variable A, B, C, D represents the specific min term. That means here, the each cell of this K map represents the specific min term. So here, the number at the top right corner of the each cell represents the specific min term which is represented by that cell. So now, let us see the arrangement of these cells in the K map. So here, the numbering beside the each row and the column is done in the gray code form, so that the pair of the adjacent cells are only one bit apart. For example, if you go from the mean term 4 to the 5, then only last bit is changing. Similarly, if you go from the mean term M5 to the M13, then only MSB is changing. That means between the pair of the adjacent cells, only one bit is changing. Now the cells in the top row and the bottom row, which are in the same column are also adjacent to each other. For example, this mean term M1 and the M9 are also adjacent to each other. Because between them, only MSB is changing. Similarly, the cells in the first and the last column in the same row are also adjacent. Because if we wrap this map, then those cells will be adjacent to each other. For example, this mean term M12 and the M14 are also adjacent to each other. Because between them, only this second bit from the LSB is changing. So because of this gray code formatting, the cells or the mean terms are not in the sequence. That means if you see the numbering of these cells, then after the 1, we have a 3 instead of the 2. And likewise, after 5, we have a 7 instead of the 6. So of course, from the combination of the variables A, B, C, D, we can identify the mean term which is represented by the particular cell. But directly, without looking at the input combinations, if we want to write the mean terms and if we want to draw the K map, then this is how we can do that. So first of all, write down the possible combinations of the variable A and B beside each row in the gray code form. Similarly, write down the possible combinations of the variable C and D on the top of each column in the gray code form. Now, for the numbering of the each cell, start from the top left corner and write 0, 1. Now then after, write the 2 and 3 from the right to left. Similarly, in the second row, write 4 and 5 from the left to right and then write 6 and 7 from the right to left. Now because this 1 0 is in the 4th row, so just skip this 3rd row and once again write 8 and 9 from the left to right. Then after write 10 and 11 from right to left. Similarly in the 3rd row, write 12 and 13 from the left to right and then write 14 and 15 from right to left. So that is how we can construct the K map for the four variables. So now let us see how to map the boolean function in the K map. So let's say this f1 is the four variable boolean function and it contains these mean terms. So for mapping, whatever mean terms are present in the function, we will write down the one in those cells. So here we will write the one in the cell number 0, 1, 3, and 4 and then in the cell number 8, 13 and 15. So that is how we can map the function in the K map. Now many times the function might be given in the algebraic form. 
So let us see how to map such function on the K map. So let's say we want to map this function f1 in the K map. So here this a dot b bar dot c bar dot d represents the input combination 1 0 0 1 or in other words it represents the mean term m9. Similarly this a bar dot b dot c bar dot d corresponds to the input combination 0 1 0 1 and that corresponds to m5. Likewise the third term represents the mean term m2 while the fourth and the fifth terms represents the mean term m0 and m15. So for the mapping we will put the 1 in the cell number 0 2 5 9 and the 15. So that is how we can map the function in the k map even if it is given in the algebraic form. Alright so now let us see how to reduce the boolean function using the k map. So here the rules are similar to the 2 and 3 variable. So first of all make the group of 1s which is in the power of 2. Now whenever you are making the group try to aim for the making bigger group so that the number of variables in the each product term will reduce. For example for the 4 variable k map whenever we make the group of 2 ones then the number of variables in the product term which is represented by that group will be equal to 3. On the other hand if we make the group of 4 ones then the number of variables in that product term will be equal to 2. Similarly when we make the group of 8 ones then the number of variables in the product term will be equal to 1. So in this way by making the bigger groups after the minimization we can reduce the number of variables in the each product term. Then try to cover all the ones or all the mean terms which is present in the function by using the minimum number of groups so that we can reduce the number of product terms after the minimization. Then the third is during the minimization the overlapping of the group is allowed. And finally consider those mean terms individually which cannot be grouped with the other mean terms. So by using these laws we can easily minimize the four variable boolean function. So here in the four variable k map we can make the group of two ones, four ones or the eight ones which are adjacent to each other. So first of all let us see some of the possible ways to make the group of two ones. So in this case we can make the group of mean term 5 and 13 and similarly we can also make the group of mean term 5 and 7. Now we have seen that the two cells at the edges are also adjacent to each other. So here we can also combine these two ones. Similarly in this case we can make the group of these two ones which is present in the first and the last column. And likewise we can make the group of these two ones which is present in the first and the last row. So these are some of the possible ways to make the group of two ones. Similarly let us see some of the possible ways to make the group of four ones. So here as you can see if four ones are adjacent to each other then we can make the group of four ones. Similarly if the four ones are in the same row or in the same column then also they can be grouped together. Similarly in this case instead of making the group of these two ones we can make the group of four ones because the cells in the first and the last column are also adjacent to each other. Likewise the two ones in the first and the last row are also adjacent to each other. So we can combine them and we can make the group of four ones. Similarly the ones at the each corner of the map are also adjacent to each other. So we can combine them and we can make the group of four ones. So these are the some of the possible ways to make the group of four ones. Similarly let us see some of the possible ways to make the group of 8 ones. So in this case these 4 ones in the column number 1 and 2 are also adjacent to each other. So here we can make the group of 8 ones. Similarly in this case the 4 ones in the second and the third row can also be combined and we can make the group of 8 ones. Likewise since the first and the last columns are also adjacent to each other so we can combine these ones and we can make the group of 8 ones. Similarly over here we can combine the 4 ones of the first and the last row and we can make the group of 8 ones. So these are some of the possible ways 
to make the group of eight ones. All right. So now we understood that how to make the different group of ones in the K map. So now let us take few examples and let us see how to minimize the Boolean expression using the K map. And for that, let us take the earlier example. So this is the same example which we have taken while understanding the mapping of the function in the K map. So let us try to minimize this function using the K map. So first of all, we can make the group of these two ones which are at the corners. So in this group, the variable a, b and d is not changing and the value of these variables is equal to 0. Therefore, this group represents a bar dot b bar dot d bar. Now apart from this group, we cannot cover the remaining ones by making the group of 2. So we will consider those main terms individually. So this one represents a bar dot b dot c bar dot d. Likewise, this one corresponds to a dot b dot c dot d. And similarly, the last one corresponds to a dot b bar dot c bar dot d. So if you see the overall minimized function, then it is the summation of all these groups. So let us take another example. So in this case, we have been given this function f2. So first of all, let us map this function in the k map. So whatever mean terms which is present in the function, first of all, let us represent them with the one in the k map. And now let us try to minimize it. So first, let us make the group of these two ones. Similarly, we can also combine these two ones and we can make the group of two ones. Likewise, we can also combine the two ones which is present in the cell number 6 and 14. So now, if we see this group, then the variable a, b and c is not changing. And here, the value of variable a and c is 0, while the value of variable b is equal to 1. Therefore, this group represents a bar dot b dot c bar. Likewise, in this second group, the variable a, c and d is not changing. And the value of these variables is 1, 0 and 1 respectively. Therefore, this group represents a dot c bar dot d. And likewise, in this third group, the variable c and d is not changing. And similarly, the variable b is also not changing. Therefore, this group represents b dot c dot d bar. So if you see the overall minimized function, then it is a summation of all these groups. So in the last two examples, during the minimization, we were able to make the group of two ones. Similarly, let us take the couple of more examples where we can make the group of four ones. So let us consider this function f3. So first of all, let us map this function in the k map and let us try to minimize it. So in this function, First, we can make the group of these four ones because they are in the same row, right? Similarly, we can make the group of these two ones and these two ones. But if you closely observe, then here, instead of making the group of these two ones, we can make the group of four ones. And by making the group of four, we can reduce the number of variables in that product term. That means while minimizing, whenever it is possible, try to make the bigger group of ones so that we can reduce the number of variables in that product term. So now in this group, the variable a and b is not changing and therefore this group represents a bar dot b. Likewise, in this second group, the variable b and c is not changing and therefore this group represents b dot c. And if you see this third group, then in this group, the variable a, c and d is not changing. Therefore, this group corresponds to a dot c bar dot d. And if you see the overall minimized function, then it is the summation of all these product terms. So while minimizing, whenever it is possible, try to make the bigger group of ones so that we can reduce the number of variables in the product term. So let us take another example. So this is the function f4 and we want to minimize it. So first of all, let us map this function in the k map. So now if you see, then we can cover the ones in the top and the bottom row by making the group of four ones. Then after in the center, if you see, then we can make the group of these four ones. And once we make this group, 
then only this one remains and that one can also be covered by making the group of two ones so in this way by making the three groups we can cover all the ones in the k map so now in this first group the variable b and c is not changing and the value of both variable is equal to zero therefore this group corresponds to b bar dot c bar similarly in this second group the variable b and d is not changing and the value of both variable is equal to 1 therefore this group corresponds to b dot d and likewise this third group corresponds to a bar dot b dot c so if you see the overall minimized function then it is the summation of all these groups so in this way by making the group of 4 we can reduce the number of variables in the each product term all right so now let us take the example where we can make the group of eight ones so this is the function f5 so first of all let us map this function in the k map so clearly as you can see here we can make the group of eight ones and once we make that group then only three ones are remaining so out of the three ones these two ones can be covered by making the group of four ones and likewise these last main term can also be covered by making the group of four ones so here just for covering this single one we are making the group of four ones so that we can reduce the number of variables in that product term so during the minimization whenever it is possible just aim for making the larger groups even for covering the single main term so that we can reduce the number of variables in the each product term so in this first group the only variable c is not changing and the value of variable c is equal to 0 therefore this group corresponds to c bar similarly in this second group the variable a and d is not changing therefore this group corresponds to a d likewise in this third group the variable b and d is not changing so this group corresponds to b dot d and if you see the overall minimized function then it is the summation of all these product terms now sometimes during the minimization the order in which we are making the groups might be wrong or sometimes even the selection of the group itself might be wrong and in such case perhaps we may not get the minimal expression so to avoid that always after making the groups just check that after the grouping is there any redundant group or not and in case if you find any redundant group then just eliminate that group because without using that group also we can cover all the ones so let us understand that through one example so let's say this is the function f6 so first of all let us map this function in the k map so here if you see then we can make the group of these four ones which is in the same row now once we make this group then the two ones in the last row can be covered by making the group of four ones similarly the two ones in the second row can also be covered by making the group of four ones now after that the only main term which is remaining is the m8 and that can be covered by making the group of two ones but wait since the first and the last columns are adjacent to each other so we can make the group of four ones and now if you see then all the ones in the group gets covered but if you closely observe then the first group which we have made is the redundant one because just by using the these three groups alone we are able to cover all the ones therefore we can remove that redundant group so now this group corresponds to ac likewise this second group corresponds to b dot d and this third group corresponds to a dot d bar and the overall minimized function is the summation of all these product terms so in this way after the making the groups and covering all the ones just check that whether any group is redundant or not so to understand it more clearly in the next video we will understand the concept of prime implicant and the essential prime implicant because with the help of it it becomes little easy to remove any redundant group or it becomes easy to find the minimal expression but i hope in this video you understood 
how to minimize the four variable function using the k map so if you have any question or suggestion then do let me know here in the comment section below if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos